So the Prophet wasallam said, Qiyamah will not happen until you see its 10 signs. Okay. So now What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Esther and you're welcome back to another reaction video. If you're coming across this channel for the first time, you're super welcome. Find the crown royal squad by liking, subscribing, and turning on your notification bell. And if you wish to join the super hyped royal squad, you can join my membership by joining royal squad gold, silver, or rose, and you get all the goodies from this channel. And to all of my amazing subscribers, you guys are so amazing. So guys, I'll be reacting to 10 major signs before Judgment Day. This is the final days. I react to the minor um, event that will be happening at the uh, final days, like the end time. If you're here to check it out, kindly check it out. This is a thumbnail. And um, this was requested while I also have it in mind to also do this video, looking at the 10 major signs. And without no further ado, let's dive into the video. This is by the merciful servant. It's just so amazing. The hadith is a Sahih Muslim that our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam came across the Sahaba one day. They were sitting in the masjid. He came and they were having a heated discussion. So he said to them, what are you discussing? So they said, we are talking about when Qiyamah will happen. Hmm. We're talking about making Qiyamah a guess when will Qiyamah happen. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Qiyamah will not happen until you see its 10 signs. Okay. So now he said there are 10 signs that are directly linked to Qiyamah. There are 10 that are definitely in a different category. Qiyamah will not happen until you see its 10 signs. It's then he mentioned signs. them one by one. And I'm going to quickly list them now. And inshallah, later on in our series, we'll go over each one of them in a lot of detail. Number one, he said, the Dukhan. Dukhan is a dust, smoke, smog. The Dukhan. Uh, and by the way, all 10 of these are specific. These okay. are not trends. All 10 of these are one-off incidents. So these okay. 10, it is a clear-cut sign. Something major is going to happen, catastrophic, cataclysmic, and everybody will recognize this is one of those major signs. So mm. number one, the Dukhan. No, and, and this is not in order. We're going to mention this. This is just 10 that he said. They don't necessarily be in this order. Number two, the Dajjal. And that is a long discussion. We'll talk about that. Number three, the Dabba. And the Dabba is the beast. And he's mentioned in the Quran. Number uh, four, the rising of the sun from the west. Mm. So the sun rises in the east, sets in the west. One day it will rise from the west. Number five, Nuzulu Isa ibn Maryam, the coming down of Isa ibn Maryam. Mm. Okay, this is a specific incident, Eternal and that is Jesus. not ambiguous at all. Very clear. Number six, Ya'juj and Ma'juj, and the coming of Ya'juj and Ma'juj. Okay, that is a major sign, and we'll talk about them and some of the problems that are raised by this issue. We'll talk about it very frankly when we get to inshallah. Number seven, eight, and nine, three zalazil, three earthquakes that will shake the world. There's going to be major. This isn't a regional earthquake. These are earthquakes that essentially the world will know it is an earthquake. Three zalazil that will shake the world in one hadith. Each next one will be bigger than the first one. Mm. So it's going to be three consecutive earthquakes that are the whole world will know that there is an earthquake uh, taking place. And then he said, Wa The last of these signs, number 10, the last of these signs is a blazing fire that will emanate in Yemen and will force the people towards Ard al Mahshar or the land of resurrection. The land of resurrection. The very last sign of Judgment Day will be the fire that will force people to gather in one place and that will be the end of humanity in that one place which is going to be in Bilad al-Sham as we will come to when we come to it. In another hadith he said, any time one of these 10 comes, expect the other to come immediately after. So these 10 are like dominoes, one after the other. These 10, when the first one comes, khalas, the rest are going to follow very, very quickly. And the first of these 10, without a doubt, is the coming of Isa ibn Maryam. This is the first of these 10. 
The first of these ten is the coming of Isa ibn Maryam. And when Isa comes, the rest of these are going to come one by one. And that's it. Qiyamah will take place very shortly after the coming of Isa ibn Maryam. And the last of the minor signs links the first of the major signs. Let me repeat. The last of the minor signs links the first of the major signs. The last of the minor signs is the coming of the Mahdi. The coming of the Mahdi is the last of the minor signs. And the Mahdi will be alive and will interact with the first of the major signs. And that is who? Jesus. Isa ibn Maryam. So the Mahdi and the Isa will coexist at the same time, same place, interact with one another. And it is literally as if the minor is coming to an end and the major is beginning. And then that's it. The rest will go uh, from there until Qiyam. The last part got me thinking because I, I saw a revelation some time ago. I'm being sincere about this and um, I saw a revelation some time ago. You know what he said now? He said the last one would collide like to, to happen with the first one, which the first major sign is the coming of Jesus Christ. Why the last one is the, is the like the Antichrist will be there. Like the two of them will interact and they will see each other like things will happen like that. That means when Jesus comes, that is when rapture takes place. When the children of God is going to be raptured, like those that believe in Jesus Christ, those that believe in God, those that fear Him will be raptured, will be taken out of this earth. So they would have to witness maybe the earthquake, the three major earthquakes, the fire breakdown and everything. And now the, the, the Antichrist will still rule. After Jesus has come, the Antichrist is there already. That is why those two are colliding. And I saw this thing like suddenly something happened and someone is, is not, is like human, but it's not like human. And the other part of the body was um, like a large creature, very large creature. The, the head to this, the waistline is human, but the other part, it doesn't look like fish. It doesn't look like snake. It doesn't, but it's a very wild creature. And um a lot of people were forced to like serve him and um, a lot of people run to him because they were getting food stuff and everything from the i don't know if it's him or i can't actually say so I, I i could remember that there are some persons arguing that there was something like an earthquake or something everywhere was shaking that everybody had to run from one place to other so i was now thinking could this be rapture is this antichrist? What is happening? This is, is this our world? What's happening right now? I'm just, I begin to think, and I was like, where, where, where are my children? Where's my husband? And um, some knowing came to me, like in that my dream, I had this knowing that there's a sacred place where Christians are, where they sing and worship God. And I was hearing the sound of singing. So just turning back, like I saw that place was in, was was um, was encamped, like there, there was a covering that those people outside, like those something like terrorists outside, they are not terrorists, but you know that creature I talked about has a lot of soldiers that force people to do what you actually want. In fact, I, I saw one that they, I don't, don't, let me just leave that part about it. Like they just force people to do what they don't actually want to do, you know? De plenty dirty things be begin to happen at that point in time, then I begin to see like, this is not where I'm supposed to be. So there's a knowing that there's a place that has been kept for those that love God. But that place, a lot, like not plenty of people are there. So I, 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 I tried to enter that place and it was a very locked down place. Like the place was en encapsulated with um, a lot of security that not just anybody can enter that place. And that place was full of peace, and people were cooking, and people were having fun, and some people were singing, and some people, you know. But, well, let me just leave that. What I'm going to say, and what I'm about to say, is if you are a Christian, or if you are a Muslim, thank God Muslim also knows Jesus, and they believe in Jesus. 
you know, it's, it's, it's not even Muhammad that is coming the second time. Jesus is coming the second time. That is the son of God is coming the second time. And we all, both Christian, Muslim, non-believers, believers is going to see him. And only those that believe in him in the first place will be raptured. And that is where the problem starts. Because those that are not raptured, we have to pay with their own blood. Um, I'm using this point to tell you that open your eyes to the truth. Read between the lines. I believe the Holy Spirit is going to open your eyes to understand that fact of who you are really to follow. See, religions can dictate that you wear a job. Religions can dictate that you do this or that. That is religion. Religion don't save. Religion don't save. Let's get that. Religion will never save you. Maybe you wear a job, but who you know, that which you know as a savior, who you know, who you really, your deeds, your good deeds, your, 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 um, how am I going to put this? I don't know what you call it in Islam. What you have done, that's, that's which, and who you believe actually, we actually end you. If Jesus will come, that is, Muhammad will not be there. You know, I reacted to a um, major prophet on the judgment day, and, and, and in the, in, in, at the last part, I said, Muhammad is going to stand for those that followed him. Um, actually, I don't like arguing, but I like talking on facts. If you said the major and the minor sign will be clashing and Muhammad is not even there. So who, who is going to stand for those that actually served or followed Muhammad? When it is Jesus that will be coming, that is, um, the Bible says, my sheep knows me and they hear my voice. If you do not follow that Jesus, if you don't know him, if you don't serve him, if you don't follow his will and he doesn't know you, how is he going to save you when the Antichrist is there? When the mag and the Magdon is there? When, when the trying times comes? when there is tribulations, when the judgment is even there. You see, a part of the major sign, he never mentioned that Muhammad will be there at the judgment. They said there will be um, a, um, a big fire that will push everyone to his side. He did not say the prophet is going to come to save everyone. That is why I said at uh, that um, prophet of the judgment day, if you have not watched it, go and check it out. No man, no prophet will stand for you on the judgment day. Not even Jesus Christ. All he can do now, he has told us, Having the Father, which is God, which you people know as Hala, knowing Him and following His will, let the Holy Spirit show you to all truths what you are to do and what you are not to do. In fact, you can still decide to wear your hijab and do your things, but you need to know this truth that Jesus is the only truth, the way to life and to eternity, that is to heaven, which you call our journal. So, I, I if these are the major signs and Muhammad is not mentioned. I think you should think twice. I'm not criticizing. I'm not here to eat and I'm not here to, I'm just trying to, just like that um, um, Ahmed D that is a very um, wise man. I'm just saying this like a wise lady that you should think about it, read and pray that you caught the revelation of what even this earth and heaven and what and who are to serve. Um, I believe you've learned one of the from this video. If you have, don't forget to give it massive thumbs up. Don't forget to drop a beautiful comment at the comment section. If you have a video that is explaining those five, 10 major signs, you know, he's just mentioning them in how it is being written in the um, Quran. I would love a better explanation of each of them. If you have a link that is explaining each of those signs, I would like to see it at the comment section. And I'll see you in my next video. Signing out. Ciao.